All right, so gotta come back to you because uh, I'm seeing the uh, the Facebook uh, forums with sports groups are blowing up. There, everybody's talking about uh, this new grading company out there called HGA. Look at the labels. Um, I'm not a big fan of the labels. I do like their slabs. I um, they look nice. Um, am I a big fan of HGA? I I don't know. Um, I have not bought an HGA um, uh, card yet. Their prices are not exactly the cheapest in the world either. But let's talk about all the different brands out there right now. So this, so this video might be a little bit longer than my last one. First, you have PSA, which if you've uh, you've if you've been watching eBay and you're watching um, you know what people want, it's the PSA 10. Why do they want it? It's because it's PSA gives you a 10 gem mint. They don't have a 9.5. They only have a 10 and then a 9. Which means that if you send your card into PSA, you have a much better chance of it getting a 10 than you do through BGS or SGC or pretty much any other any anywhere else except for maybe GMA. People are attracted to that 10. I get it. I like it too because it is nice to have a 10 in your collection as opposed to a 9.5. So that's one way that PSA has definitely been hitting the mark and that's also why I think their cards right now if you were to go to eBay are selling more than just about any other version okay so let's just say for example you have a 9.5 gem mint Beckett BGS card and that, let's just say that's uh, a Mike Trout and it goes for say a thousand dollars BGS 9.5 matter of fact nowadays it's probably five thousand dollars well the 10 through PSA would probably net you at least another thousand dollars more than that. Both virtually gem mint cards, but one has a 10 next to its name, the other has a 9.5. It's almost a blemish for BGS to grade their cards so highly that they give that 0.5. It almost actually counteracts a reason to go out and buy those cards. Now, PSA has made a lot of money off that off the last for a few years, but if you go back, say, five years or so, you know, it was actually the 9.5s from BGS that were actually having more value than the PSA brand. But all this influx of people into the hobby, it's pushed PSA up, and oh, by the way, they haven't looked back. But now, PSA has a backlog of like nine months, BGS has a backlog of probably three to six months, SGC has a backlog... You know, of course you can send your cards to GMA, but nobody cares about GMA's quality. You know, it's more like the cheap brand. You can get it back in a month, eight bucks, and they kind of look at it. Maybe they kind of don't. So people are jumping into the rink and saying, hey, buy my slab. Don't buy the other guys. Um, and one is called Hybrid Grading. And that hybrid grading company is still trying to find their niche. Um, one, they're coming out with subgrades, which is nice. Their slab is a little bit nicer looking than PSAs, which is nice. Um, their label, to me, it looks a little tacky. But, but uh, you know, can I get past it? I mean, I kind of hate the PSA label, and I definitely hate the new SGC label. So, so there's some good and there's bad to every single grading company. I don't think any grading company has a label that we're going to love. You know what I mean? Um, I also want to talk about something you might not have heard about called CSG grading. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm not seeing it being shared anywhere. And I also expect it to blow up big because you're right, the companies are backlogged, okay? People want a company they can trust and and see they don't they don't want to send their cards into the ones right now because it just doesn't make sense for turning over your cards for a profit. You know, you Although you can get, you know, say if you have a, a Pete Alonzo graded 10 by PSA or you can have a Pete Alonzo 9.5 by Beckett. If you send them both in, right, to get them graded and come back and you know those will be your grades when they come back, you know that it might take 90 days or more to get your PSA one back. It may take you 60 days or more to get your Beckett one back. And that's a $20 difference in profit that you're going to make off of that card when you sell it on eBay. So you're trying to say, hey, I want that turnaround time to be 30 days. I want the turnaround time to be 15 days. Where can I go? And one of those companies is CSG Grading. If you look them up, they are been around for, in the industry for years and years and years. And they've um, been doing comic books. They have been doing, uh, you know, 
printing you know money where they slab money they slab comic books they slab magazines they are huge in the marketplace they just haven't been doing baseball cards now the two new companies I'm talking about CSG and HGA they're both going to take in AI meaning they're using computers to help go ahead and say hey this is centered you know this corner is dinged up blah 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 HGA is basically going full AI everything about your car is being scanned boom 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 it's it's not by a person really it's by the computer identifying everything about your card CSG on the other hand is going to hire people and AI so it's a little bit of it's a mixture of both and oh by the way you have the 50 years of backstory with that company so I do think we're going to have two companies jumping into this and both creating value for themselves I think the CSG one is going to have more value than the HGA I don't think either one's going to go away anytime soon in this marketplace um, me personally I, I have cards that I've been wanting to grade for a while I haven't graded them because I'm in fear of how long it's going to take to get back you know because let's just say I send in a Lou Dobb right now and by the time I get it back he breaks his leg and he's out for the year doesn't make too much sense unless I'm keeping the card long term now if you're keeping the cards long term that's when you say, hey, you pick the grading company that you want to be consistent with. You know, I, I decided a few years ago that I want every card I own to be Beckett BGS graded. So even if I buy a PSA slab, someday I may tear that slab off and get it regraded by Beckett. And you may say, why the hell would you do that? But that's what my collection would be. It's for my collection. It's for how it want, I want it to be presented when I have it laid out. I want it to be uniform. And I just so happen to like the Beckett labels the most. I like that it's got the extra plastic covering on it. I like that the um, the label uh, is thick slab. I like that um, it's got that little engraving into the, uh, Beckett into the uh, the glass or the plexiglass. So I like a lot of things about it. But I'm not going to lie to you. I like this uh, CSG slab quite a bit. I've been looking at it, and I'll post it up here. And uh, and uh, the HGA slab um, it is nice. I just hope that they refine that tacky uh, label at the top. So I wanted to talk about this because you ha you're now going to have several options out there. And, and, and it's hard to decide which one's the right one. Obviously, if you're trying to keep your cards for a long term and have them all uniform, pick the one you want. If you're trying to get the most money out of them, right now, PSA is the right one, the right, one right now. Because the chances of a Beckett BGS 10 is very slim to the point that no one ever bets on it. You know, I sent in 50 cards I thought would be 9.5 or 10, and I got none of them back as a 10 with BGS. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not exactly an easy process. Um, but I do want to mention one more thing. There's probably another 20 companies out there that we don't talk about. Um, HGA Grading is one of them. So HGAgrading.com is a company. And now that company just so happened to shut down the same time as hybrid grading HGA came out. I'm not sure if these two companies are affiliated with each other, but I would tell you it's me. It sounds like a company trying to rebrand itself, which is not exactly a bad move, probably a pretty smart one. But uh, especially given the, um, the marketplace, you know, you hire a few designers and say, hey, make my slab pretty. Let's go ahead and full AI and, and get the market out there. The, the Facebook um, posts from uh, either their company or their paid followers have been all over the place but do not forget CSG I think you're gonna see that I think people are gonna value CSG I think it's gonna be a pretty good price as well until they're backlogged anyway the same way PSA is so if you're looking to get cards graded right now that you might get a 30-day turnaround on that you think will have some value here pretty soon that might not be a bad option that's just me taking guess I could be completely wrong about it but if you're trying to be safe uh, PSA, if you're trying to go for a 30-day turnaround, you know, or a 50-day turnaround, you, you can, might be able to go through back at BGS, because it's quite clear right now that everybody's sending their cards to PSA, and a lot of the other ones are not getting the turnaround. I'll tell you this, like, for example, the uh, last comment here, the Pete Alonzo rookie card, $75 on PSA, $75. Back at uh, 9.5 is probably 55 SGC 10 is probably 45. And honestly, the SGC 10 being a 40, you know what I mean? Being a $45, to me, it's grading just as hard as the PSA. 
to me, they're the same card value. So there's some wins you can get off eBay if you don't mind what grading company it was. All right, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, don't let the PSA um, value right now stick with you for life because it very well may change. You may see Beckett come back up to equal in two to three years. You may see SGC uh, equal out. You may see this CSG company come up really high, really fast. So don't lock yourself in on just PSA just yet. Um, be open. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys today. Be open. All right, that's it for tonight.